So, hello and welcome to another video. We're taking a last look at this map and the playthrough with the Wonders of Egypt and see. To be honest, I, I, I was thinking about ranking all of this stuff and I'm gonna do that. But I also want to take a quick look uh, at the rest of the world because it seems like the West, the Chinese have clearly quite a strong influence in the world. Like even this stuff, this stuff, all of these guys are under their control. The hordes are basically out, which makes a lot of sense. I guess the Mongols are still there, and there's a, uh, there's some other another few hordes and the Kazarians. Holy Roman Empire. I mean, Europe is a mess, completely disgusting. I guess we have our part here in uh, conquering. I guess we are like, somewhat going towards the Ottomans, being the Ottomans in a certain sense. <laughs> after all of this, Germania is doing a kind of okayish, even though it, they look quite hideous, and Britannia as well. These guys are tributaries of, yeah, Britannia. Swedish. And I guess th this is quite surprising. This uh, Finnish ho or this Germanic holy order has quite a strong presence in Finland, which I've, is quite interesting. But otherwise, uh, the Pope is getting uh, is a little bit big. Uh, actually, has quite historical borders. I think. I mean, like the Obino and all of this stuff. Yeah, I think that this is okay. it's alrightish. I mean, this is out of it, uh, but otherwise, whatever. But after that quick look, we we're we gonna take a look at all of these holy or uh, great works. Now I'm gonna go through every great work by itself. And then just give them a ranking. Or do I rank them or do I give them a, a, a note? Let's just rank them. Actually, how many are there? Let, let's start with, with the latest one. Why not? That last one that I built. The Great Palace. Now... It does do somewhat interesting stuff, but overall I don't think it's too impressive. I mean, it's definitely not the worst. It's definitely not the worst with all of this stuff it gives. Fertility, a rest chance, some retinue size. And of course, it, as if, if it has dynasty opinion, it, I think it's actually quite well already. More of armies. It's okay. -ish. It's definitely like a, 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 mi a middle bit uh, see from seeing all of those different things. Let's let's actually make a list myself. <laughs> I don't I get the stuff. It has been the last one, but I don't really think it, wa uh, it was a necessary one. Just uh, just basically the main influence influence it had uh, on the g on the game was the revenue size. Otherwise. This was or this dynasty opinion was already like the last bit. I already had a lot of dynasty opinions. It also was quite ex ex uh, quite cheap, thinking about it, compared to some other stuff I built. I'm not sure if that was buggy or something, but this only was like five thousand uh, to upgrade. I mean, it was a lot to initially build, like ten thousand or something, but to upgrade one it was five thousand. The ruler statue was. Uh, Fucking expensive. All right, but the next one, the Grand Library of Fusta, or oh, well, Fusta, the Grand Library overall. Technology spread rate. Now, I'm not sure how to rank this directly because it's uh, such a passive wonder. I d I have not felt any influence of that anywhere whatsoever. Uh. Does this only count for that place then? This the, this spread bonus, or is this an overall? Because it doesn't look like. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah, but it felt like this had didn't didn't have too much of an impact. This li grand library. So I'm gonna definitely put it below the below the bell palace. From co cost-wise, I think it was not too expensive, and it also was quite quick, so you can get us quite quickly. And it, it doesn't have anything else, right? No, not really. All right. Underwhelming overall. Underwhelming the library. Now this, the Great Wall. Now, what this can do quite well is actually like 
more troops, that is always good. Heavy just giving more troops, even though it's a very small amount of troops. F 550 is basically unimportant in the end game. Like if you compare it like 5000 and stuff like that. But what it did quite well is like, look, a city, uh, the city vessel opinion is quite powerful to have. Just basically have all of the mayors and maybe even like the merchant republics like phrase that I had. Like be like me more by eight. It's quite it's quite strong. Can have some uses. Wait, let me scroll down there again. And also the upgrading all walls directly to the maximum level has been quite useful. Actually, I, I quite I quite like the I, I, I quite like the Great Wall. It's definitely up here. It's quite it's, it's quite nice. I mean, it's it's still not quite as uh, active in a certain sense. I mean, there's also like the ridiculous siege offense, but that is just for this province. And uh, as we know, there's no like uh, fort building like in uh, EU4 where you can just stop. Uh, an army coming through, so it's nice to have, but it's not really a great wall in it, in that sense, <laughs> right? Okay, but overall, I I like it. I like the great wall. It does something good things. Moving on to the next, the statue. Complete garbage. Completely unnecessary. The only ne positive thing is a dynasty opinion plus three. Otherwise. Unnecessary, don't build it. It was also ridiculously expensive for some reason. I'm not sure if that was buggy or actually was the case. But yeah, but there's not much more to say about this statue. Complete garbage. <laughs> the string contributes to heightened security. Alright, that seems to be quite a little bit buggy after all. Alright, the castle. That's very it's quite similar to the... Uh, for the palace. And I guess I would also rank it the very same like the palace. It doesn't do anything. I mean, it does give more troops. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's this bit. Is there. What is the real difference between those two? I mean, the palace gives more retinue, but otherwise, they are very similar. Also, for for example, why the for uh, why the uh, statue is so shit? Look at how much prestige the palace is making me. One point four. How much is the fucking ruler statue making me? Zero point nine seven. That is the main appeal of the statue. So garbage. But the castle, I would rank it the very same as the palace. A little little bit below the palace. Otherwise, not too impressive. Now, the Grand University. That is a good one. That is a really good one. Just a simple plus one to all stats. F basically, fairy character that you play is just good to have. It's very powerful. Skill opinion, that's the incredible. Then, some more technology points. That also doesn't hurt. Not much more to say about the university. Just some good old base, base stats. Who I'm, gonna, who I'm a big friend of. And the technology points. I guess if you would uh, like spam this one, this would be very powerful. This would be very powerful. Alright, next one. The underground city. One, the, the one that gives the highest tax modifier. But uh, after all, 15% is still not a lot. I mean, if you look at the... Uh, wait, let's click on it again, that underground city. If you look at the tax income from these places, if you look at those percentages, technology gives me 84, uh, 48%, booming gives me 30%, I guess 15% is somewhat okayish to the increased uh, uh, income. But overall not super powerful. I mean it does a, it has a, it does have some plot power defense which is quite nice. But other, uh, but otherwise nothing too impressive. 
Yeah, it's it's it's, it's alrightish. I think it's is it above the palace? Nah. It's 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 just below the palace at the moment. Oh, I should also write down. I haven't even written, uh, written down the uh, statue. So shit, that's how shit I think it is. So there we go, statue. <laughs> All right, the garden. The garden is very cool. Let's just say it, it's very cool. Because it may not uh, it, it it does have some decent passive stuff. Also more plot wait, it's underground city. Garden, please. There we go. It does have some nice uh, passive stuff like the blood power increase, the blood power defense. Some fertility, some health. But I guess the most useful thing is is the fountain of youth and the herbs. In a certain sense, like the Fountain of Youth uh, event, I mean, you only have to be uh, at in the Hermetic Society once to get Mystic, or you get Mystic another way, I don't know. But just uh, like cutting out two years of every bunch of years, it's just nice to have. And it feels very active. Then it also has, and it, it also helps with the. Uh, uh, what what you call it? With the plots? I mean, it says right here, I'm an idiot. So I would I give I would give that a very good note. I give it a very high, high ranking. Now is it above the Grand University? Mm, no, it's not above the Grand University. Just having base stats is very powerful. And the thing is, like stacking this is not as powerful as stacking the Grand University. So it's definitely below it. All right, what else do we have? The Great Harbor. If you're build it, if you're playing as a republic, this is very cool. With uh, wait, this gives thirty percent straight low tax modifier. I wasn't even aware of that. Well, that of course changes my opinion about the. Uh, about underground city quite a bit. This is definitely a lot more powerful, and it gives trade value. So this is basically, this is basically the build the building you want if you want to make money. I mean, you have to be on the sea, of course, to build it, but still, trade value, thirty percent tax modifier, some more boats, siege siege speed, and it definitely has a decent siege defense. Yeah, this is quite a nice. I haven't even realized how good the Grand Harbor is. Is it above the garden? Yeah, I would put it above the garden. And espe especially if you play uh, Republic. Just having this along all of your coasts. Just pushes up that raid value like, like crazy. Alright, the mosque. Go away. The mosque. Same religion opinion. Is very powerful in itself. Convert counties to your cultures faster. Convert counties faster. Overall, seems quite nice. It's not super cool, but hmm, I would definitely put it above the palace. I mean, the same religion opinion modifier is just good. And temple vest opinion as well is just good. I mean, what else was there? Like, yeah, there's nothing interesting whatsoever left. I, I would tell tell myself that I made the right decisions. What I, what upgrades I built. But I guess the Great Mosque or ta Cathedral, as it would be in as a Catholic. Yeah, that's definitely above the Great Wall. Above the Great Wall. I'm not writing a riddle here, I do actually <laughs> make a list. Alright. Oh yeah, there's not much more to say. Converting stuff faster is very powerful. Especially if you're going hard religious. All right, lighthouse. Twenty percent tax modifier. Hmm, it's all right, but otherwise it doesn't really do anything, right? Yeah. I would say it's it, the 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 harbor is better. The harbor is just better. If you want to go, go for money making thingy, just build a harbor. This this doesn't do anything else than the harbor, and the harbor does it better. Yeah, there's not much else to say about this. I mean, this is own th this might remove a lot of roofs. That is be just because I built a 
whatchamacallit, the tavern here, that you can build everywhere. But it also would push it down a little bit more. It's definitely... Yeah, it's below the Great Wall. Lighthouse. Pyramids. Once again, same original opinion modifier, even though it's a lower one, is very useful. And it doesn't do anything else. So, it, it is very, very underwhelming in that sense. I would put it above the library just because it does... Uh, It does the same religion opinion. I mean, it's only plus two, but it, it it is help. Yeah, let's put it above the library. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm missing any great works. To be honest, I can look that up later on if I missed anything. All right, but last thing, the mausoleum is, I guess, yeah, it's it's very own thing. The mausoleum. The ST opinion plus 6, own children opinion plus 5. That can be quite interesting, but I don't think it does anything else interesting. No, just like, once again, like, opinion uh, uh, pushing. That would put it above the pyramid, definitely. Does it put him up, does it put it the mausoleum above the castle? Yeah, I would say. The castle is not too impressive. I would put it above the castle. So now I actually have to <laughs> see what I've written there. Okay, so we've talked about everything. Let's give let's give it a rank. Actually, I would say at the top, the Grand University is quite up there with its uh, just impressive base stats. I'm not sure if it works that way, but I would assume if you build five of those, plus five to everything done which would make this a very interesting then the great harbor for just straight up money making which would then also improve building things it's simple enough to get to get all of your great works uh, uh, quicker and upgrading your counties faster the next rank is the garden with its uh, with its uh, herbs and Fountain of Youth and Blood Power. Then on the fourth we have the mosque, or the temp, or the uh, temple, or the cathedral, for improving opinions with the same religion and just uh, converting counties and cultures faster. Then next we have the Great Wall, giving a f defense, giving defense and troops. And city vessels, uh, uh, city vessel opinion. And of course, the um, improved walls everywhere. Or just in the county. Then we have the lighthouse. Did they actually put a lighthouse above the palace? Why did I do that? I would actually put the palace a little bit higher than that. Yeah, let's put let's put a palace on the fifth place. What's the fifth place? One, two, three, four, five. No, the sixth place. Palace is on place 6. I'm gonna put a list in the description. I should actually also... Uh, well, I have... So... I'm just gonna put a list in the description so you don't have to listen to all of my uh, rambling. Then... Then the lighthouse on place 7. For some li a little bit of money making, but just... E but it simply enough gets outshined by the Great Harbor. Then next we have the underground city, which does a little bit less money as well. But I guess it's inland, so it has some more interesting stuff. Then the mausoleum for pushing the opinions with the dynasty and own children, that can, which can also be quite, quite useful, that, not, uh, that your own children are not, not too keen on killing you. And they also are more likely to join your plot. That's, that is also one of the most powerful things about this dynasty and own children opinion. 
Usually your own family just joins your plot then. If you plan to kill someone and they have some power. If they have if they have high enough opinion they might as well say, Oh well, sure, let's kill this guy. Then our next place we have the castle. Not too impressive. I'm not, I don't think it's worth it. You might as well build a palace. Which is just straight up better than that. The only thing this has specifically for itself is I guess the 100 heavy infantry, but 100 heavy infantry is not worth it. Then the pyramids. Very boring. The only thing that the pyramids are uh, that high up is because they have the same religion opinion, plus two. And, in, and that's... Which has some uses, even though it's so low. Then the library. Because of the spread rates not being too powerful and interesting. And I guess it would be straight up better to just build the university. It feels like there's, there's a lot of great, one, uh, great works that just have a straight, up, a straight upgrade. Which is better. The harbor is better than the lighthouse. The palace is better than the castle. The university is better than the library. Because that only does the very specific ones, right? And the great university would give you 10%. What gives 5% right uh, just straight? Yeah, and then everything else gives uh, called, uh, the technology points. And last and very least, the statue. Don't build it. It's not worth it. Alright. That's the ranking. Like I said, I'm gonna put the ranking also in the description. And I would say, like, subscribe, and watch the shenanigans. And I guess I'll see you on the, in the next playthrough of CK2. Bye!